Okay. Oh, you said you wanted to start with Apple versus CES and the purists? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's, here's my thing as an Apple... What, what, what would you call me? An Apple fan, but not an Apple fanboy. I, I, I would call you an Apple appreciator. The reality is, given some of your recent shifts, I'm not even sure I'd call you an Apple fan anymore because you've, you're, as of late, you have been critical of Apple on some things that, it's like you want, you want the 2003 Apple back. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's still funny though. I, I do appreciate the comments. You know, I, I, there are people that I know like me and have a lot of respect for 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 me and, and my computer knowledge. But then I'll go, oh, God, I'm so disappointed with Mr. Bit being oh, his faith in Apple and blah 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 blah. See, to me, I don't look at it as a zero sum game. Apple does contribute stuff to it. We have to be very clear about something. Oh no, I'm, I'm Apple, absolutely Apple, you know, Apple as a business it has to make money, and what do they call it, magic or whatever? That's, that, you know, they, their job is to sell. It's not like Microsoft doesn't call their shit uh, holy, right? Oh, um, no, they're, they're good at marketing, and, and I'm, con I'm convinced you're going to buy a Mac Pro until they stop making I mean, them. Let's, yeah, let's be clear. The target, the target that people, I think, get most annoyed at is people that are so loyal that they're blind, it's blind loyalty, Okay. So, you know, I, I take the people's comments, they do comment, you know, all oh, the disappointment and this and that. That's fine, you know, we're all entitled to our opinions and I, I respect that. But I, I, I hope that when these comments are written in the context that it's not perceived that the real target that I have found most get pissed off about Apple is are the extremely blind loyal fans. But I would argue and counter, you know, counter argue to that. What you're seeing today is, is fly-by-night people that like Apple. And fly-by-night people, miles well, well, I don't want to say that, that's wrong, are currently loyal to Apple, but because of their nature of being fly-by-night, will then be loyal to something else. And you're, and we're, you're never going to change that behavior. It's just those type of people like to be in, what is that, the quarter, in, in the now. You know, They're constantly telling you, Oh, what you do is so five minutes ago. Yeah. And, 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 and that they're the elite by being on the up and up of what is now. And you're never going to escape that kind well, of... Well, and, and you know what? I can't keep up with those people. I, 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 there, there have been points in my life where somehow, by accident, I became cool. And I didn't change anything. You know, right. all of a sudden, what I had been doing for years was cool. Right. And then it wasn't. I didn't really care. There are. I guarantee you, a lot of you that would criticize my faith in Apple or whatever, what have you, is a lot of the faith I have in Apple is 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 uh, in part good things they've done for, for the uh, economies uh, and markets, which is we can say they don't necessarily have created, but they certainly have brought to market. Let's, we have to be honest with ourselves and saying. Something may not have been invented by Party X, and they may have never had the power to, to, to bring their this, 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 this totally necessary item that we feel would be great. And then and outside of computers, whether it's cars like Tucker or what have you, and technologies that uh, scope whatever, whatever market it is, from automobiles to air culture to whatever, if it's brought to market and given to the masses, we cannot t discredit that because so many things are conceptualized, invented, and then lost. Well, and, and, and on that I note, I, I, I have to disagree with your conclusion that, that here, I honestly break the dislike of Apple into three groups, and they're three, three very different separate groups. Well, not tenants, though, but you're disagreeing with only... I haven't no, 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 but you're talking about the majority of it is directed at, you know, the fly-by-night fans. That's one form of it's totally because because no, I would but there's there, but there's say, two other classes of dislike okay. against Apple. The the other class is the dislike. Uh, yes, Apple has a responsibility as a for-profit company to market. It's when their marketing 
over promises and and contradicts itself. Well, but I don't but that, uh, no, but it, 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 it it's well, and even you've criticized this. It's like so you solved a problem you created in the first place. Right. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's the other group that people have signed. The though that's a very minor group. That's technical people who have an appreciation for technical problems. The other one I would put on the same league as the Apple fans or the anti-Apple fans. Like or hate Apple, they have an influence on the industry. They do have the ability through influence to steer designs, um, some things, other stuff. There are people who very much liked things that as the Apple effect rippled out through the industry, what they liked shifted away, and they hate Apple for um, having that effect on the industry. And right. it, 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 those people, those people that watch this video, and I would like that's exactly what Rusty just said in comments. Tell me what Apple is taking away. I want to know that because I would say that. I have I have yet to see in scale Apple destroying something uh, as uh, how we say it? in a way to where it's so exclusive that there is you know there's there's no other alternative path in existence it, it, in parallel to what we just came out of with the Wintel dominance. There, an alternative to anything from that was either out of the scope of the wallets that we had or just not even feasible with the technology dominance that Microsoft was taking to court over. So I don't see Apple having a, a hold on music or movies or chips or operating systems or, or um, they may have taken, they may have bought a product that we were that you were used to, and I would like those examples for people to, 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 that have actually used them. I because I think well, those we're, we're, we're going to go into one from a pretty damn credible source in, in another. Well, part, I know, but, I, but I'm going to say those are those are microcosms that Apple is not the only one guilty of. Things get acquired, which is part of a business cycle. If what we're arguing and saying in the end is that we would let it. That, that's not just what I'm talking about. I'm also talking about like form factor effect. But wait a minute. The form factor effect is not necessarily controlled by Apple. Uh, for instance, if, if, if desktops were truly wanted by the masses, they would be the dominant force. No, I, 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 okay, I'll give you an example. Um, which they kind of are, PCs. I mean, this. We're not quite yet there where the iMac is a dominant form factor, but but um, wait a minute. I mean, we, we have to be clear with ourselves. Money has to be made, and the and the final decider of of, of how that gets how that takes place is a consumer. Now, that's where I go back to saying the arguments that I see in the end cultivate to well, you're just a shitty consumer. You're a dumbass. Why are you so blind? And blah, 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 blah. And, 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 and that's essentially... It's, it's guilty on both sides by, by saying, well, the Apple fly-by-night fans... Have well, and, and, and the, the, the effect, like, it's, the ripple... We can't have elitism and, and, and that and saying, well, we know better than you. Why don't you see this, you know? Go ahead. Because, well, uh, to answer your question on that thing, that's because what they see is a matter of opinion. And some people can have a dissenting opinion. The ripple thing is a little different. It's not directly Apple's fault. It's more the fact that the industry is lacking another Apple, uh, another OEM or design house with the cojones to say, screw what everybody else is doing. And I'm going to do this. Yeah. I think you can answer why, to why that is. There was no dominant operating system coming off of desktops that essentially could be the other Apple. Linux is there, and Linux is an enterprise, but guys that like this, you guys that like open, 
Money talks and bullshit walks. Oh no, I've said for years, for that's Linux that's to that's really that's make a competitive offering, uh, somebody needs to sit down and make a Linux OEM. Uh, and, 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 and I understand to the... I understand to the free... I, I really have great respect for the opinion of... Well, I, I don't understand how a Linux OEM would... I, I realize there's the free zealots who would go, Man, you're violating free. How? How are, it, it, it wouldn't be like they'd be Apple where they're saying, you, you all of a sudden have to stop using Linux. You know, they're just saying, you're not our customer. The average end user who, doesn't, who, who isn't going to buy Linux unless it's on the shelf for them is who our customer is. I, it, it, <laughs> I, I do appreciate the free movement. It's just, if we really want powerful alternatives to actually get to that, to that idea, you have to marginalize everybody else. And the only way to do that is to make power, many more powerful entities. And it sort of goes against the model, because you need, technically, it doesn't go against the model. Perceptionally, it does. Because an investor has a perception that is not going to always agree with the technical. And what am I, what am I getting at? Well, what, what, what you're I'm getting at? at what, what, what I'm saying is that yeah. I, can, I can write algorithms that have a technical analysis of a stock market or a, per, a particular investment. But that won't freaking matter if a press report comes out that all of a sudden alters, whether it's fact or a lie, the perception of an investor. Okay, so I'm trying to erase that whole purist argument by saying that's not quite how the world works. We work on perception most of the time. Well, so, and, and we've gotten off, uh, got a little off topic there, but there's. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Uh, 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 okay. What, what I'm saying is that Linux does what you just said had to make it OEM, in that we are not in that world, so let's accept it that coming off the desktop PCs. We don't have the world where there is another apple because you hit it on the nail. We need many more apples to marginalize everything else, okay? But that's not here. However, Android is, but they started off of a mobile platform coming up. And well, actually, Android will bleed into what would be the perceived analogy of a desktop eventually. Oh, so that's going to happen a lot over the next three years. Yeah. So, so you do have that in that sense, okay? The problem, though, that I have with Android and, and, and its advances is that it's given so much power to carriers, of which I, I, I can't stand. You know, that, 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 that to me is the free open source utopia beyond the whole free movement on from, from, from operating systems and, and code and what should be you know public domain uh, or do they get to dictate their own crap uh, <laughs> so now and that and, and I will say you, that you, you, you know I, I hate to say it but you know what it reminds me of you remember the early days of Windows yeah where it, it Basically, the people using Windows were doing some weird dictations, and it, I, it, that wasn't mixed with the cell phone industry. But you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it reminds me. I, I'm sorry. I'm I am seeing parallels, both in terms of the Chrome platform and the way Google's doing anything they can to make Android stick and making compromises. It reminds me very much both of those two projects of early, early, like Windows 2.0, 3.0 days in, in terms of stuff that's going on. It's not exactly identical, but I, I see a sleeping giant. I really do in terms of son. I'm like, hey, trust me, they're, they're not at the stage yet where they care about any of these problems. They're at the stage yet of their Microsoftifying themselves, getting an every and little orifice, <laughs> and then you won't Android be able to can't do. Be in. But see, Android can't be reined in. Google services can be reined in, but Android is not a Google service. Android is open, and therefore, if we do need, as you said, more apples, 
Because, I, and I'm not here. Because we're. I, 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 okay, I, I need to clarify that statement. And we, we were we, we were talking about Apple in relation to CES, and we've gone on an entirely different tangent. No, 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 no. I'm bringing it back. No, 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 no that's okay. That's, that, that's okay. Because I, 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 know, I know, but I, I need to clarify that we need more Apple statement. This doesn't mean we need. I'm not saying we need more draconian god. Yada yada companies like Apple. We need companies with a set of balls to say, this is what we're doing and finding the customers that want it. Not and there's a and there's a difference between saying fuck you and saying we are not interested in pursuing the same over marginalized niche. We are interested in pursuing this niche that nobody's catering to because they've forgotten about it because they've been chasing this <laughs> do need draconian apple entities out there but in, in, in huge numbers right. well, I don't want to say huge numbers but, but, but an, an even playing field if, if, if what we're, is what we're essentially getting at Android is lost now to the control of the carriers until we can eliminate the carriers it's, it's game over for that now but let me say something now. Let me give a caveat because this is getting to the CES app, Apple versus CES because this is the whole crux of it. A lot of CES was a lot of mobile and a lot of displaying. Of and, and there's an alley at CES that is dedicated purely to Apple accessories. Mm, there were. Absolutely. <laughs> what, what, what I'm getting at is the mentality that I saw in so many blogs and pundits about dismissing CES and, and how it's copying Apple and all this stuff. What I'm getting at, though, is Android, while it may be lost from Google's true control, uh, maybe Nexus brand becomes the closest thing to a Google ideology of what they would like to their products, but the pragmatism of it at all is that carriers do not. Let's not forget that the iPhone was limited in many, many functions, primarily because of AT&T. Okay? They have MMS and many other features because of AT&T. Okay. Now, uh, we look at a cell phone to provide as a service. Is it absolutely necessary that we look at a cell phone or smartphone as a desktop PC? I must have the latest and greatest software. My question to you is why? You bought the phone because it provided you a service or you would have purchased another phone. Did you not? Or did you buy the phone because it didn't cost you anything and you just you wanted zero in and you were fine with a two-year contract. You sacrificed your choice for paying nothing. The thing about what I'm getting at is that Android is very powerful in its current form, and is a good thing for choice and consumer choice, and that why is Apple defining that we must have this homogenous effect across all phones? So a phone from 2008 can get upgraded software in 2012, which is two cycles, which is two, you know, two cycles of a contract. Why? I'm not interested in that. Why? No more money. I, 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 I am. I love the idea of rolling distribution. I got a now 12 year old computer here. You were so full of it, dude. I went through computers rapidly during the old days when when software was ahead. Of hardware. Right now, in mobile software is ahead of uh, of hardware. That it will change when that change and the pendulum goes the other way, where hardware now outpaces software. That's a different story. And what I mean by hardware is the whole thing: battery to chipset. Oh no, no, I, I, uh, Marcel, I agree with you. The technology isn't there yet to support that. That doesn't mean I don't want the idea. Uh, the reality oh, is, we. It's You're talking utopian then. When that happens, and we can have a discussion, because I would agree with you. I would agree with you. I would wholeheartedly say you're right, Rusty, because now software is lagging behind how many cores we can get with ARM, or, you know, whatever, whatever the chipset is on the phone, and the memory and the battery power. It's ready for it. It's like Jesus. Hello, the software. Let's catch up. Like desktop is now. Half of our, all of our operating systems barely take advantage of our hardware and true parallel execution. So, I mean, what are we getting? We're not there yet, yet on mobile. You know, if mobile, if we're worried about battery, oh my God, it juiced all this, and Jesus is lagging here or whatever. Hell no. 
Why are we concerned with updating a 2008 phone with 2012 software when mobile hardware has to catch up to it? Well, I, I am, I am the, the consumer that I was in the early days of desktops. I find hardware constantly to keep up to provide my software. Here's you know? my official, I, I, I'm, okay, my official stance on that is I'm the in-between. I do not think the designers should take that into account when they design it. They should not limit themselves to, like you say, be compatible with cycle from two hard with hardware from two cycles back. They should say I, we're not. Software is not. Uh, uh, okay, I, and I agree. I I, I I I agree. They're not, and I don't think they ever should. I'm of the firm opinion that what software should do is they should make the best software they can, try and take as much as big advantage as they can of the modern hardware, and that's what they should do. However, if geeks want to try and uh, stick a, a NASCAR engine in a bug <laughs> and try and figure out a way to make it work, and that you know there are people who will do this just to say they did it, I don't think they should be denied the opportunity. So I'm, I don't think you should design with it in mind, but where there's a geek will, if there's a way. And good, good innovations actually come out of that too, that have great right. and rights to the other stuff. Where I have a problem with is the denying it. Uh, it basically, and where this comes into the fact is that we have forgotten as an industry largely how to provide unsupported things. You know, it's like, this is the official range. It will work here, we know. Beyond that, you're on your own. We're not going to stop you from doing it, but right. you're on your own. We right. we can't help you. <laughs> right. And, and, and the model, I just don't like looking at things through an Apple lens, which is like this Apple versus CES. Yes. Apple is is very Apple fans that argue Android would never overtake the market share of the iPhone. And when did that happen now? I'm just saying, well, Apple has a profit share. They still argue that with the iPod oh, pads. Oh my god, does that, does that, that means that the consumer is willing to pay the margins per product uh, that Apple is offering. Why, number one, it's more exclusive. But I guarantee you, when the fly by night customers go away, it won't be as high of a profitable margin. I am by no means saying Apple is going to die. What I am saying for now, that those higher margins that garner Apple profits are in play. And I hope Apple makes all the profits they can. It won't last, is what I'm trying to say. No, I, I don't think it'll last either, because the honest fact it was, is... Yeah. Well, it's, no, it's not just that. You, 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 well, you hit on the other reason. You hit on the other reason. No, you hit on the other reason it won't last. Uh, there's a, a good chunk of the fly-by-nights are people who bought Apple because all of this stuff is kind of pushing the fringe of current technology. When we go through another two to three cycles and technology has advanced to, you know, quad-core, ARM, four gig, slates, yacht, so on and so forth, and it has been marginalized this much, the consumer, the average consumer is not going to see bang for buck and high premium. They're going to see bang for buck and marginalized price. In which case, they're going to shrink down to this yaw percent of the thing. Right. Which exactly. And see, this is, and here's where I'm going to get, you are, you're bringing it in. But, let me just say, this is what I'm going to say. Uh, it's like, the only other thing to say on that, it's, it, it, I mean, that in and of itself is the bubble, because they're going to pop there. Yes. It, yeah, it, I mean, but the bubble's not as big, but you, you were bringing it in, and that's why I was trying to say it, because I wanted to put in a point that you're bringing it back into, or taking this digression a little bit, because it is Apple versus CES, which is, can we say, all, as the way the Apple pundits put it, Apple versus the rest of the technology world. And you hit it on the nail, and that... Look, iOS is fine, okay? But it's as you have in, in our show notes, Wallace prefers Android in many aspects because it can do we're, it. Yeah, we're, and we're going to go into that in yeah, a different part. Say, Woz is proper, it's primarily dismissed by many Apple families. I, I'm going to tell you that. They don't give him credibility much. They, they think he's very loony. Um, nonetheless, he is 
uh, very, very true on that. Now, what it is is that iOS is a great platform. Okay, it, it is a look. They started. Uh, they were first to market. They 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 did provide. I think. I, 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 I want to clarify that statement. They, wait, were, wait, 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 wait. they were first to make it stick. Different yes. thing. They were about the sixth to market. Well, what I mean, all right, first to market as in, well, I, yeah, okay, you're right, because I was a developer for mobile, you know, uh, Windows Mobile back, back in the And there were others before Windows. This has been tried so many times. Apple managed to hit it at the right time in the right way with the right marketing. So, and make sure. it stick. All right. And we, we'll give them credit for yeah. that. And they, and, and they had a different model from Windows Mobile, which is true. Now, it, it, was, it, was, it's, it still is a very niche thing, but it's a fun thing. Predominantly, that's why iOS has become more of a gaming platform than anything else. Now, it has become a very entertainment. And let, me, let me just say, because a lot of people now are oh, just think you're so insulting to iOS and gaming. Well, look, the facts are the facts of that, but we'll just say it's a luxury. A, 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 a luxury surplus um, consumer buy on many regards. Now, there are legitimate Apple demographic users. I, I, bought, I own three iPhones, and I, I had a jailbreak most of them to do what I wanted to do, but um, I defended it. You know, I had videos defending iOS until it's just like, wow, it did not keep pace, in my opinion. And, and other technologies clearly uh, took direction to. And the thing of it is, is iOS has advantages, things like where it's like, like it's like high from Chihuahua, or you know, I, I had tweeted it, iOS is very much like an over mouse. You get graphics like roll like there's no tomorrow. That's not always the best situation for handling it. And that should be the caveat or the peg that you make against others. Okay. You shouldn't say, oh, but this, it does this one. Why, why would touch and feel of something preclude function for a task you need done? Well, and, and oh. the, fa the fact that anybody buys that is, uh, or, or it's not, it has yeah. me a little concerned, especially given the way things are going to go towards the end of this year and next year in the industry. Well, I, 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 and this is a whole other conversation that we may or may not get into tonight, but I don't like the idea that I am seeing the computer industry turn into the console business model. Well, that, didn't I just say that? I just said I just said I didn't like apps because why that's going to lead to apps. I know, but that's what, the, think about it, that is what the industry is doing. We're turning the computer turn into a into console. A Okay, we have to come up, uh, I'm going to go back to our main point, but let me just put this, I'm going to try to make this as, as succinct as possible. So long as it's said the cell phone is dominated by a carrier, in the, in the model that we have, that I have to have a data plan, I have to choose Verizon or AT&T, or over the seas, I think they choose like their Vodafone or whatever the hell it is. No, no, and you're right on that. Uh, basically, what we need is I can go to a an access provider. I basically I could go to Time Warner or Directv. What you're missing, what I'm getting at. So long as it is in this current logistical chain, we're kidding ourselves. Oh, I know. It, because it will then get into those exclusivity type things. Exclusivity for apps, exclusivity for carrier, exclusivity for hardware, what have you. But you know what encourages that? Our, our, we, we, we did that as a country. We set up regulation that basically said, you know, you have to be a telecom to play ball in this field. Well, well what I'm getting at is that once we do do away with the kit, if we do take the carrier out of the equation, which Steve Jobs originally wanted a, an IP phone, we will eventually get to an IP phone. Where it's just, if, where, where a carrier is as arbitrary as your ISP, that will occur. Okay? When that happens, wow, the game changes a whole lot. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Unfortunately, what I'm seeing as the biggest uh, roadblock to that happening 
is the federal bureaucracy you have to deal with to build out a nationwide network. Because it, it, you want to talk about red tape bullshit, try and build a coast-to-coast -coast access in the United States. You have to go through regulatory boards, you have to go through yeah, the... Yeah, but bring it. When, 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 when uh, IP <laughs> over 4G, like the 4G, the IP, Wi-Fi, let's just say that when Wi-Fi is ubiquitous, Yes. And we go like it is. That's when that's when the game changes. When, 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 when Wi-Fi is you, there's a qualifier on that. When Wi-Fi is ubiquitous, with the ability for people to become providers that can provide unmetered, mm -hmm. not not unlimited, unmetered. Big fucking difference. They can provide access, right. not. It's like because uh, meters yeah, the yeah. other problem. Now we're gonna make you, we made an aggression sub bubble to the to the to the bubble that we went out to. Figure. What I'm getting at, guys, is that we're, I'm tying it into the Apple versus CES. Is that carriers are the name of the game? Apple pundits were saying everything at CES is either a copy or a wannabe. App, which is totally ludicrous. That I've been saying Apple is usually not the first to invent anything. They acquire things and make things better. If you're going to argue that Samsung is shameless in doing something that they know may be okay, that it looks like it, but it has extra features to it, is it not taking something and making it better? I mean, how far can you go? I don't agree with the iOS platform. Uh, I, I don't like the icon-based driven anything. Uh, icons are there, but I don't like how it's done in iOS. I just don't like the navigation. OS. Even my BlackBerry navigates far better than iOS, okay? And this is like not even uh, BlackBerry 10. This is BlackBerry 7.1. I feel navigate. I can navigate this phone better than I could in my iPhone. The, the thing of it is is that not everybody is going to copy Apple. If Apple acquires something and they want the ones that invent it, they're essentially taking something and making it better so it's for everybody else. Don't worry. They'll add a little magic and then it'll yeah, just be it, theirs. It's like it's, it's <laughs> such a... Yes, a ludicrous thing to even come up and just say, oh, it's an apple oy thing or whatever. Oh, look at you, you want to be like Apple, this and that. Apple is in charge, and this is going back to the bubble that we had when we were discussing the, the whole demographic of fly by night. They are great right now, and I and if I were Apple, I'd do the same thing. I would cater to, a, to, to my demographics as much as possible, try to hold on to them. The, the thing about this is those fly by nights are going to go somewhere else, disperse, whatever, they'll, they'll say, oh, wow, uh, you know, this is cooler here, uh, I can do this here and that, and it provides, and, and it's going to where, where I'm arguing that, oh, this provides this many services for me. I know a lot of diehard Apple fans, but I know more Apple fans that have switched to Android, which, I'm not an Android fan. I don't like Android. I'm sorry. I don't, really, I don't like it. I, I, I own three Android phones, and it's not for me. I, I, and I, now I, Android, uh, ice cream sandwiches piss me off. I, you know, I, I, you know I, it's, I, I, ice cream sandwiches going the way of iOS. You, when you flip the damn thing off, it's, it's just a, it's, it's like having a browser history cache, okay? QNX, BlackBerry, and iOS are the true multitasking operating systems. End of the story. That's what I want. I don't want to kid myself and play video games all day with my phone. I don't want the service, and I want to do it, and if i got to wait, I, I don't want Android Ice Cream Sandwich to start saying, oh, well, uh, we need you. Well, that really doesn't do that. You know, that's just an illusion uh, type thing. You know, they can go fuck themselves. Uh, I, I, you know, I want, and I don't care if I have to swap the battery. Isn't it ironic the phones I have, I swap the battery, and you know, these people are, there's these people, oh, I don't want to swap the battery, but I'll have a battery pack. Do you know a feature I would love to see in mobile devices? Hmm. I would love to see, since we since we already have the world's longest part anyways, I, I might as well just add this bit in. Uh, it, it's, um, I would love to see somebody create a mobile device that is designed for you to swap the battery. I realize you can take the battery out and put a new one in, but what you have to do is power down or hibernate or whatever. Yeah, you, and, 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 yeah, you, you have to break the yeah, workflow that's off. That's awesome. and, and, and I mean, wouldn't it be great if somebody built a device with that in mind where your battery is low? Oh, <laughs> and then... Wow, but the expense would be... You would, the, the, 
it's I, I do that's a pro these are the type of problems though that I admit it you would buy that device you would yeah. buy that device admit that's, it but, but the capacitive the capacitive material that you would need I know semiconductor capacitive material that you would need to pull that off you know wow <laughs> but if, think about it you know it, that that is what everybody really wants you know <laughs> yeah wow you're already the L5 cash for that but um, that's an inside thing. Well, no, 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 no. Um, but the thing of it is, is Apple versus the world is truly what I think people comment against me about. Uh, and it, it, that's the mentality. But I, I, yes, I own a tremendous amount of Apple products. I have technical arguments to defend the operating system on why I choose OS 10 over Windows. But I don't, I don't, I, let's, 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 let's be clear. Windows pays my bills. End of story. That doesn't mean that's what I personally prefer, but it is. And I, and I, and I will be honest when Windows, or when Microsoft makes a damn good Windows system, like, I, I think, you know, I go back and when you and I were discussing with Windows Vista, it was the, the change of design model that they had to incur that pain of change had to absorb. But Windows 7 to me is fantastic. I, I, you know, this damn thing has never freaking crashed yet. Where other previous Windows operating systems... It's, like, it's still, it, it, I, it's still missing a lot of UI functionality I'd like. But don't worry, yes, they're gonna they, they're gonna break all of that come Windows but, 8. So see, see, UI customization to service provide becomes your your most hated word that I use. An opportunity cost when you decide to use it. I can decide to say, Jesus, am I gonna give up this freaking? Uh, well, you know, actually, yeah. uh, no, a actually, no, since, since we've been going back and forth on mobile, you know what? I would argue that one of the biggest problems with Windows is their UI because somebody did that on Windows Mobile. You know, basically, Microsoft allowed them to replace the Windows shell, and they basically created a different UI. And uh. Microsoft made the wrong decision of saying, oh, what's so cool on Metro, because we want to be whatever, uh, Metro should be the new UI for whatever damn well, No, 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 see, the, the, that to me is the mistake. Uh, yeah, it's Microsoft is, uh, if Metro Microsoft was smart, what they would be doing was they would be encouraging you are third party. You Microsoft compensation and, and, and because I want to look, I want to complete this with Apple versus CES, and then we can gladly go into Microsoft. That, I, 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 okay, we're gonna do, oh. so instead of going into Waz, we're gonna go into Microsoft. All right, yeah, we need to we need to tie everything because we've made massive amounts of digression on that. I hope people are still watching this video. You know, um, <laughs> yeah, we're going on um, forty minutes now. You know, gosh, damn it. That it makes me feel guilty. That guy, I PM that guy that we were going to give him 20 bucks or whatever the hell it was, and we never followed through. I need to really find that guy to still watch and finish that. Well, you didn't. I, I, dude, you said you were going to. I was going to pay him. That's on him. I thought he did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought he said he'd done it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you sent me an email, and God's honest truth, uh, if that guy's watching, um, I got super busy, and then it completely escaped my mind. We need to pay that guy. We yeah, you do. I, I thought you'd already done that, man. Yes, <laughs> yeah, the PM then I said, what do you want to do? And I, I, I think it was a very vague PM back to me. It was like, well, do this or this. And I can't remember. And Yahoo, and not Yahoo, but YouTube sucks. So damn, I went back in, and I didn't have any gosh damn PM messages. I still don't. I don't know. You know they, they, it they, it should be in your email, assuming you let it copy you. Yeah, um... Uh, God. This is why I have it all copied to an email. Account. email app because I don't want to have spam and all this crap. So I guess try again to PM the guy. Whatever I want, he's try to PM me again, uh, and, and then do, and then I will take it for we're going to take care of him because I'm a, a man of my word. We're going to pay the guy. So um, yeah, <laughs> people are still work, still watching this, which brought up that whole digression. Is that? We have the whole Apple arena, which which we were discussing before, which has credibility and validity. It's got its good points and its bad points. 
thing of it is, is that it is not the end all, be all where it should be Apple versus CES. Apple should be inclusive to CES and say, great, you know that technology is there in this, and 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 end this whole, end this whole augment this, this this weirdness that is. Why is it always Apple versus the world? Because that's the Apple stance. It's true, but it's too insular. I guarantee you, when Fly by Night goes, and I'm going to go back to say. The old Apple users, which I argued with you last time, are the true Apple users. The, the loyal Apple users is because we were the real geeks. We were the guys saying, man, we know. Uh, uh, yeah, but Apple has kind of been saying, no, no, we like the fly-by-nights. No, no, we like the fly-by-nights. And I, I, I mean, I, there, there, there's a lot of of that group of Apple side who's just... You know, these are the those are the Apple users are going. Damn it, Apple! Stop talking about iPhones. Apple, stop talking about it. No, shut up, Apple! It's like. Right. <laughs> yep. I guarantee those people that comment, oh, you know, Mr. Biz or Marcel's like, you know, screwed up with his Apple police. I guarantee you, if you look at me and you look at Mr. Biz, you guys are like, you know, this is wow. You'd have a completely different opinion, in, in my opinion. I think you would really think differently. I, 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 I don't know. I was around. I was around then, but I wasn't in the Apple camp because of the UI things. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I will tell you, I am very critical of Apple. I think it's very obvious the videos there, but there are many good things about Apple. Apple should, Apple should be, oh, anything but Apple mentality and. Vice versa, it shouldn't be Apple versus the world mentality. And that's kind of like, I wanted to include everything that we discussed about and have that as the main line. Is that Apple pundits should make it and say, oh, everybody's copying that, which is total rubbish. Uh, and, 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 and yes, I do know Samsung really goes out of the way to make things look very iPhone esque. But isn't it the same argument of. Oh well, Apple took something that was very clearly something else. It didn't really change it that much, but made it better. And took it to market, and someone else says that to Apple. You know, I mean, uh, I think it's just the, the, the what is that called? The, the the aura of something coming back to bite itself in the ass. Carbon. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's it. The thing of it is, is that if we're really consumers, don't we want the most options? And why do we want to exclude something from our options? That doesn't make sense to me as a consumer. That's why, yeah, I will define Apple on things that I think are really fair, and I and, and, and I do own a lot of Apple products, but I think when they fail me as a consumer, I move to something else. And, I, and that's clearly my complaints as a consumer. So I, I, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, you know what? I want to know how many of you watched this long. So if you watched this long, post, pay him his money bit below. <laughs> Money, Mr. Bit. That's right. <laughs>